Hey, it's Ben from No Bounds. Maybe you have experienced this problem or at least this challenge where you've developed a landing page, you've created a form, and you want to test it. But the thing is, if you actually put in your name, your email address, whatnot, fill out the form, hit submit, you're going to show up as a conversion. And there's really not much you could do about it after you show up as a conversion inside of HubSpot. You can't just delete that and pretend like it never existed. It's going to show up on your reports forever and ever. So how do we um, take care of that? How do you test your forms without actually showing up as a conversion? There's a really simple, easy trick that I want to share with you right now. So here I am looking at, the, at this landing page on No Bounds Digital's website. Um, alas, we have not gotten any submissions today on this particular landing page but I'm gonna jump over to this landing page here and I'm gonna put in it really doesn't matter what you put in um, on other required fields so name I'm just gonna put test but here's what you do here you do plus skip form at hubspot.com and when you do that um, here I am I'm gonna click download and then jump back in over to here and let's just let's just give it a little second, do a little song and dance, just make sure that there aren't any um, issues with um, you know this registering and whatnot. So let's now um, refresh this page and see if we have any submissions. Huzzah! We're still at zero submissions. Um, this is going to be a, a little thing, but to me, it's a big game changer because. Us as marketers, we want to make sure that the data that we have is accurate. And without accurate data, we can't make great decisions um, that are really going to lead to more leads. So um, check this out. Try it out on your own forms. It's plus skip form at HubSpot.com. And you can see for yourself that it's not going to add any other new conversions or submissions to that form um, as you're going through a testing process to make sure that it goes to the right th thank you page to make sure you're getting whatever automation that's that's um, um, you know to make sure that you're able to do what you're supposed to do with the form but at the same time you're not going to be negatively uh, falsely impacting your reports